This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 23 and 5 eighths of my Mac Pro series. I decided to name it like this because it's more than a half, and why not name it that? Anyway, so this is a continuation of the last two episodes of episode 23, where we had a great viewer who decided to do testing himself on the 64 gigs. This viewer's name is Curtis Murray, and I thank you personally, Curtis, for doing this for us. Since I can't test the 64 gigabytes myself on my system, it's great to know that he can and he did for us. Curtis's findings are basically what I theorized would, the findings would be. He found that the RAM itself caused the system to run roughly at the same speed, just a tad bit slower. He got a 76.33 compared to a 76.39 right here in Geekbench. The 76.39 was the 32 gig test, and the 76.33 was the 64 gig test. Now these numbers are a lot closer than I theorized they would be, but they still are slightly slower. But in actuality, it's still in the margin of error, which means the system's still running basically at the same speed with 64 gigs as it did with 32. Curtis had figured out that, yes, the 8 gig DIMMs did run hotter. He also figured out that it could be that the, the performance differences were caused by a little bit of heat throttling. So he installed Mac Pro spec heat sinks onto his RAM which cooled the 8 gig DIMMs down substantially. So, the heat didn't end up being an issue anymore. The thing is, he and I both came to the conclusion that, like said before, it's just not worth doing. The performance is exactly the same. And even though he got his system to run quite well with it, he and I both still would not recommend doing the 64 gigs. Of course you can, for bragging rights, that you're running 64 gigs, but we both recommend not doing it and saving your money because you're still getting the same performance as having 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. The thing is, Curtis's system did stay pretty stable, and after changing the heat sinks, it stayed pretty cool too, and he wasn't having any SMC sensor reading issues like I was. I theorize that my logic board's just been damaged a lot by the damaged memory controller, and that's why I have those readings. He did not seem to have those readings, though he did agree that it did get warmer. It performed fine for him without many, if any, problems. But like stated before, stick with the 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. It's not worth going to 64 gig, and if you do, the only reason why you should is if you're using high memory intensive programs. Other than that, you're still getting the same performance and we both recommend just sticking with the 32 gigabytes. Anyway, once again, thank you Curtis for doing all these tests and there's in the video. Thank you for watching. This has been a Repk Mods video.